In our last video, we talked about the awesome grid autofit feature and how you can use it to autofit items into your grid. And this makes the whole grid responsive out of the box. Now, we also mentioned at the end of the video that what if we wanted these last two items to span across the whole width? Right now, the client requested it, so let's set it up and running. The first thing we're going to do here is select the parent element, in this case, the products home list, and we're going to switch from grid to flexbox. And as you can see, this looks very messy and we don't have the desired result yet. So we have to set the children property to wrap and this still doesn't get us what we want. We still have to do one more thing. We have to select the child element and we have to customize the grow and shrink behavior. You can see here under sizing, we have grow if possible and we have shrink if possible, but we don't need these two options. We need more customization options. So we're going to click on these three dots here and we're going to set the grow to one, which is the same as clicking on this thing. Um, we're going to set shrink to one. So the item will grow if possible and it will shrink if possible. And finally here we can set up the basis and this is the desired width of the item. So if it's not having the desired width, it will try to grow and if there's not enough space, it will shrink. So here we're going to set it to the value we had before, which is 20 rems, if I'm not mistaken. And you can see here, magically, we have our grid. Now note that also the gap property was inherited from the grid. So if you don't have the desired grid here in place, you have to set the gap. And that's pretty much it. Now you can see here, if we look at the preview and we resize our canvas, we can see that all of the items are responsive out of the box. And this is how you build another really cool lazy layout. And now it's time to go to the beach.